Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. We... Stop doing that. We... <laughs> I'm starting again. Sorry. Fuck. Don't keep it in. Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. Before we get into the episode, let me plug a few things. Number one, the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Tea With Me podcast. We have... Dan, would it be fair to say we have an array of Patreon exclusive events on the horizon? Well, at least two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's an array. <laughs> yeah. That is an array. Because one is just rare. That's a rare charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we can see these, right? Because so, they're coming, they're on the horizon. We're announcing them soon. They're for Patreon only, and they're very cool things. So, patreon.com slash T with me podcast. There's a million more things on there. Not literally in any way. We're doing Tea With Me live in London on the... Tw- 26th. Hmm? 26th. Of 26th of May in Islington Town... Assembly. In Islington Assembly. Hall. Hall. <laughs> <laughs> in Islington Town Assembly Hall, London. So Did you dress yourself today? Or- <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the butler did it. Aaron. So <laughs> come and check that show out. Uh, we're tickets aren't moving <laughs> tickets aren't are they not no. finally <laughs> oh finally <laughs> oh my god thank god you were getting so far ahead of yourself <laughs> hey it'll sell out but it's just it's just people don't really I think people don't know it's London on the buy on the day the buy on the day yeah it'll I've got faith in it it'll go um, before we start anything we're sponsored by Manscaped Manscaped have been sponsoring this podcast since the year dot. Dan, what what is the what's the new thing that's come out? Weed Whacker 2.0. The Weed Whacker 2.0. These guys, you think you've worked Manscaped out, you think you get used to the products, you go, oh, I've got the Weed Whacker, and then they go, it's a Weed Whacker 2.0. What's next? Probably the three probably three point oh. Yeah, probably or two point five. They don't They don't go in decimals. They don't do that. Then why why have it? Why not just call the Weed Whacker 2? I have the 2.0. Man's keeping a big fan. Because that's my podcast. But it sounds better. 2.0. It's like. Um, but 2.5 sounds better than 2.0. No, it doesn't. You, you sure? Yeah, 2.5. Don't just say two and a half. Well, then just say two though. Huh? Just say two. But it's 2.0. But why not? Just mean. Talk away. Because it does. Finish your wee thing. What <laughs> other? What other point oh point O's are there? Like, um, you know. I think it sounds cool. Die Hard 4.0, there was that. Exactly. Yeah. Right? And that's cool. That's like. But it wasn't as good as Die Hard movie. I know you said Bruce. I mean, it wasn't as like, good as like Die Hard Bruce 2. Yeah, but die you Harder. Think, yeah, but you, that's nothing to do with the decimals. Why Why don't they call it the Weed Whacker 2 Weed Whacker? <laughs> That'll be good, kid. You know what I mean? Careful. <laughs> Check out manscaped.com. These, you know by now they've got everything. They've got the perfect performance package. They do cologne, they do deodorant. We have it in the in the Tea With Me Tars bathroom, which is quite nice. There's a little basket. Who put that wee basket in there? There's a basket. Georgia. Georgia. And there's also, <laughs> there's feminine products in it. There's a feminine products in there as well. <laughs> I did notice some of those feminine products. I didn't use any deodorant this morning, so I stuck two under my armpits just to soak up the, the juices. <laughs> use them for cooking later. <laughs> <laughs> A Bartlett roast. Uh, <laughs> Stephen, a few for the flight to Australia is a wee eye mask. <laughs> so yeah, use the code Tea With Me for 20% off and free shipping. Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring the podcast. My guest is a guy wearing a similar top to I f- me. I feel like we have dressed today like a before and after. I'm the after. Right. But it's when somebody's life fell apart. Right. So I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's one of those transformations where you go, what happened that cunt? Right. Like you, like it could be like before you're in the departure lounge going to Turkey, and I'm yeah, I just landed on the way home. It's, do you know what it is? It's like do you know Captain America and they put the dude into the machine and then he comes out as Captain America. You've never seen Captain America? You'd love it. You think so? Yeah, oh man, he's the the original American hero, just like you. Do you? Do you <laughs> remember all those Afghans you killed? <laughs> <laughs> Rugs, I mean. <laughs> Do you do this thing where, I, like, be, right, be honest, right? I'm not right. listening here. You go see, like, a superhero movie or something like that. Uh, kick bins on the way home. Yeah, and you walk out thinking, yeah. like, I could be like that, 
But th- that I thought at some point that might wear off. Doesn't. But I still get that a bit. Like you go see something like the the Equalizer or something like that. Yeah, yeah. You walk out going, someone test me. When I went and saw, I like when we were doing the boxing. Remember we, remember we boxed. I would oh, watch. Uh, yes, I yes, would yes. watch Creed two before I went to the gym in the morning. Right. Like I'd be <laughs> going to the gym, at, going, to, going to the gym at six, and wake up at five. Fast forward to the fight, we all have fucking ready. <laughs> For sure Smoke a just... fag and then vomit. <laughs> Creed 2.0? <laughs> Not 2.5, it's way better. <laughs> nah, the boxing man. Are you, are you want to know? I want to know. Uh, 1.0. Uh, <laughs> How's your... What? What's in your vape? Uh, poison? Right. <laughs> Blue Raz Lemonade. Right. You like it? It is tasty. Is there nicotine in that? I think so. Right. I don't know, I just like sucking on something. Yeah, so I heard someone say that they, were, my, they said my vape's just a sucky. I think it might have been Lavery. Someone said that my vape's just a sucky, not a comedian. Someone the no, other right. like a like a dummy. Like well, yeah, they were basically being like, "There's nothing. It's just something for me to replace the feeling of sucking dick <laughs> of of uh, cigarettes." Actually. That would make sense. Yeah, I have a cousin who quit smoking by, and it, it sounds weird. He sucking bought dicks. yeah, uh, he bought ten fags and then cut bits off each one of them. And over the course of the night, he would suck on it, but he wouldn't light it. And at the end of the night, he would take the butt and like stub the butt out, and that was his mental way of like not not smoking. It worked. Like he sounds like a lunatic. Oh, he's not case like. <laughs> like I was like, just don't, just don't do that. Just do this. Yeah. <laughs> just the mime. Just smoke. get a pen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I I definitely that that movie thing. I still get a bit like not as much. Like you're not running out and doing the moves. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> there's been there's been a few times I've left a superhero movie thinking, I wonder could I just run over that moving car? Do like yeah. up the bonnet? You could I've never do tried that. it though. But at a certain speed you could do that. Surely. Do you think you'd could struggle you? to get just that initial yeah, under I'm a the bonnet? Flat feet like I'm not as I'm a heavy unit as well. So What about like a wee mini? My dad lifted the back of a car up once. That sounds like a complete lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking Paddy McDonald's story. It's me and me letting my dad's fucking bench pressing a fucking mini. <laughs> fucking five cuts called Brian, right? We're in this fucking, there's 12 of us in the mini. Like, my dad lifted it. Fuck up, Shane. <laughs> I'd say it could be done with an, with an original mini, though, right enough. This. It wasn't a mini, but it was like a old car from like the seventies or something. Yeah. Like a classic car, and it had a thin, the the back of it went thin, and my dad got my uncle Mickey to put it in reverse, and my dad lifted it and then told him to accelerate. So if he had dropped it at any point, it would have just flattened him and killed right. him. Um, but he lifted the back of it up. And the, like my so my granddad was a mechanic, so and there's dad. sorry, my, my dad was too. Oh, was it? Oh, well. Right. Probably knew each other. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I mean, different sets of tracks. I mean. No, my grand was old as fuck. Um, but he, it was a Triumph something. It was like a car, like back in the fucking seventies. Uh, is that not a motorbike? The motorbike as well. But he, well, cars, he too. put one up on its side to fix it. So he would put, like, literally just fucking tip them onto their side and fix them in the garden of the house. I remember um, we all moved a car and uh, a metro um, to play football. Mm-hmm. You don't want to play. There was a hedge we particularly liked playing it. Um, Shooting nets in, like shooting nets into. Shoot, <laughs> I sound like who's hungover. I sound like an alien. You sound like how I feel. <laughs> oh, you, you, uh, you sent. Can I say? Can I tell the message you sent me last night? Yeah, I think. Can I read it out? I don't know. Let me read it first. No, it's not. It's not bad. It's not <laughs> <All right>. bad. <laughs> Mickey texts me last night at um, seven minutes past twelve. Beyond mental, thinking I would see this. I've been asleep for five hours at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing my wee sleep hat <laughs> in your chamber. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that adrenochrome stuff <laughs> in a in a sensory in a sippy cup <laughs> this is made from the adrenaline of heat it heat it <laughs> <laughs> that's why I couldn't be in like the Illuminati you know they'd offer like goat's blood and I'm like, can you warm that uh, can I have oat milk in it <laughs> Um, Mickey texted me at 7 minutes past 12 last night Man can you get someone else for the morning I went for a beer with my dad We're going heart to hearts And it won't end soberly <laughs> Ignore the last bit 12 minutes later I'll I'll neither 
<laughs> I'll any. So I'll tell you what happened. I went out for a beer with my dad, and then my mate, the bear, joined on. Like, right? Yeah. So my dad left me and the bear were like, fuck, we'll go back to the flat. Went back to the bar cave. I started making old fashions. With the bear? With the bear, right? And I make a, I make a mean old fashioned. Right, you drink it, it goes, you're a cunt. And you're like, mean? <laughs> it's bad manners, that. Uh, and then there was a point where, so me and him one, shook it up. There you go, mate, there's your old fashioned. Was just make, the boys having cocktails. Just the boys having learned. cocktails in the house. And then I was like, I was making myself one. And I went, have I put whiskey in that? Probably not. Put whiskey in it. Shook it up and just basically gave myself a glass of fucking whiskey with an orange zest in it. <laughs> and I wasn't paying attention. Took a massive gulp and went, oh, fuck. And immediately went, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I need to go to bed right now. now so that's when I was texting. Like, I, was, I remember thinking, I'm never going to be up in time. Then I looked at my watch and went, oh, it's only midnight. Right. I'll be grand. And I'll tell you right now, Shane, I'm not. You're not grand. Now I'm set the scene. Panthers. When you and the bear are having cocktail old fashions mm-hmm. in the flat, what's on? What is a sixty-five inch on? No, man, we're just we're just shouting Alexa, play this one, and then somebody goes, I have a better one. Alexa, play that one. What does it start? What do you start asking her to play? What do you end with her to play? I mean, does it, it go it, like here? It'll there? usually start with like you know you want something easy listening, right? Do you know what I mean? James like, Morrison, Brooklyn yeah, Springs. that's sort that sort of that sort of vibe. Then you ramp it up a wee bit. Look, Combs. And then you start falling in love with it, and you ask, well, turn it off. Right. And you're like, Alexa, stick off. Like, oh, no, fuck, I've got all tones to fuck. Right. <laughs> and then we just start to take our tops off, and, all, and we just go looking for a product on the flat. Right. But there aren't any. In the flat. Because I won't have them in the flat. <laughs> <laughs> won't have them. <laughs> no, I can't really remember. It's, 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 it's just a typical, like, you get, you get half, you're get drunk enough, you get halfway through a song, and you go, I'm bored of this, now I want to listen to something else. Is Lucas Aid original, your hangover thing? Yeah. And the, and the shades? Look the Ferrari it, shades. Ferrari shades, because kind of an international re, playboy. Re, yeah. <laughs> Light age. I, oh, I bought a jacket from Hollister the other day, right? Okay. I know immediately. What me? I'm Hollister? just checking to see if it's 2009. <coughs> <laughs> I was like, because I figured I'm going to Melbourne on Sunday. I figured Melbourne's going to be a bit shit because it's into the winter. It's usually quite rainy. I was like, I need a jacket that I can wear that's like stylish yet, you know, water. I'm thinking leather. Functional. Yeah. Thinking right. leather, right? And uh, oh, yes, tried it on a Hollister. D- £120 down to £38. I'm sure, you lose money not buying it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, we're going to get out of here, Pat, because we're robbing Hollister blind. Now, do they still do the, from when I worked there, we've talked about it before, do they still greet you with the what's up, dude? Welcome to they the They didn't fucking greet me. They, they, they very much looked at me as if this concert banned nothing and we will not let them buy anything. They thought you were there to do a fit out. Yeah, yeah. And then I put the jacket on and I went, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Got it home. Now, tried it on again. Black leather? Black, shiny. It might be plastic, I'm not sure. Could be pleather. It could be pleather. Uh, and I look like I present a TV show called Top Gear. Right. But it's all about ketamine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you look this like, is Top you Gear. Like you're doing Top Gear, but it's it's like e-scooters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look like, yeah. <laughs> this is the best ketamine in the world. <laughs> I look like I, I present a TV right. show with Philip Schofield's brother. That's... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a bit Nazi. Nazi? No, Nancy. Oh right, Nancy okay. Drew. Um, no, <laughs> Nancy Cartwright. No, do Does you? Does the voice of Bart Simpson? No. no, no, no. So I found out to my co- so you go to Australia on Sunday. Mm-hmm. I f- and I go slightly after, but I see you there in Melbourne. I found out to my horror that Mel. I put all my eggs in the Melbourne basket. Mm-hmm. I said, take my days off, put them all in Melbourne. I want to stay in Melbourne as long as possible because I'll, I'll get time to actually see the place, explore, delay the travel. Then I heard Melbourne is going to be below 20 degrees. Yeah. It, it might rain a wee bit. It, ra- it, rains, it rains every day, Melbourne. It's like four seasons one day. That's broken my heart. Mm-hmm. I hate that. I was I was counting me and you going to the beach. We're like running down to the, like slapping like, each other with yeah, the yeah. towels. Throwing and stones and all. Montage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Instead, now we'll be inside most of the time. Um, my first show the day after I land as well so I'll, I'll be doing fuck all I'll be like and what, what what when I get there after you've been there for a few days what do we what what time does Mickey Bartlett rise in Melbourne see it depends because this will be the first time I've gone out there and not been on the road show tours where I'll be sleeping in a van all day yeah so the jacket um, <laughs> so I don't know so you'll have time to, what do you mean you'll have time to actually see Melbourne and yeah, but I'll be fucking knackered. Like the jet lag. If I don't, if I don't beat the jet lag on the first day, I'll be like a grumpy bitch. Right. And I'll lie in bed until I have to go to a show, and then I'll go straight back to bed. Serious. Yeah. yeah. 
you won't go out and see Melbourne. No, I'm going to get blocked, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll be really grumpy about casino? it. Yeah, I'll be like I just fucking disgrace. I'm so tired. So where do you? You've been in Melbourne before. Where do you? If we're both on shows, and I say, Mick, I fancy a drink. Where do you take me? So I don't know because I've only done Melbourne once, and I was only there for three days, maybe. Right. Um, I went out one night with Kyle Legacy. We went to a bar that stayed open pretty late. Right. But I, I really don't know. Um, so it's, it's an adventure for me as well. Who, who? What other boys can we hang out with and play with? Do you think? Do Should we stick to our own company? No, nah, there's or? some really good content. Like Luke Heggie's a good one. I think he's got to show one after me. Luke Hackney? Heggy. Right? Uh, Luke Heggy sounds like a guy from, Lur- from like... Uh, he, lo- he looks like a guy from Lurgham, then you hear him speaking, he's got that real sexy Australian accent. Right. He's a very sexy man. Uh, Troy Hawk's out there as well. Yep. I think he's run at the same time as us. Yep. Not the same one that... But there's a guy, a comedian called Connor Burns from Scotland. Right, okay. So I'm staying with him. I think Kai Huffy's out there as well. Oh, okay. So it'll be good, like... Because right. it's the festival, so there'll be loads of comics out there. Will you come to the beach with me, dead serious? Yeah, I'm keeping my shirt on, though. Okay. I'm not, I'm I'm not keeping my shorts on, either. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not wearing shorts. Like. <laughs> it'll just be Veruca socks. <laughs> I, can't, I, I, I can't wait. Like, I'm really looking forward to it. But it's crept up a wee bit. It's Yeah, I think, like, I'm worried about the flight this time because I think I probably said this the last time I was on, but usually if I go out once a year, a year's enough time to forget how shit the flight is. Right. Six months isn't. So, because I was out in October, all I'm thinking is, this fucking, this second flight's going to be a pain in the ass. I think I'm going to, I have a plan of how I'm going to be jet lag. Right? Hear me out. Mm -hmm. My layover in Dubai is three hours. Mm -hmm. There's a gym in the airport in Dubai. Don't do it. Don't do it? Make myself all tired and all? Stirmaster? Do what I do. By the way. Four whiskeys, two Cokes. Bosh, bosh, bosh. (laughs) Out. You were like, that was really weird. I was like, I might go to the gym. There's just the smoke in those Ferrari glasses. No way, man. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. <laughs> you ain't ready, you mug. <laughs> they all think they go to the gym. <laughs> the Dubai layover workout? Nah. Do you know what Nemesis means? <laughs> it's Arabic for fuck up. <laughs> so you, your advice is just drink through it. You'll be too tired. See, by the time, like, so Dubai's what, seven hours? Yeah. By the time you get off that flight, getting through security, three hours isn't that long to be in the airport. Like, it'll fly in. Mm-hmm. So Hopefully. I I reckon... <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon uh, do, yeah, doing anything that isn't just going straight to the fucking gate and being sad. But you'll, I'll be sitting on the plane, so I need to do... I need to walk and stretch and let the, get the blood flowing. And I'm going to get as much sunlight my first day in Melbourne as I can. And I'm going to drink loads of water. And I'm just going to be jet lag... Jet lag's a state of mind, I think. It's not. It's, it's physical exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> it's, no, lit- it's literally... But I've been reading you're a lot. You're a day like, ahead and you've lost nah, a day. I'm reading about all these motivating guys and all, and I'm like, here. Whoa. Why do you call that motivating guy from here? He's like, real big culty dude. And he's like, you play a PlayStation, stupid cunt. And you're like, I do not feel motivated. Mark McCartney? No, he's, saying, <laughs> I, he's amazing. He's like, what do you call the guy that... Uh, oh, I know you're talking about. Do the, do the, do the, he's yeah. like, fuck, fuck up, cunt. <laughs> I'm like, you're not motivating me at all. You're, you're always me. doing the thing he's telling you not yeah, to yeah. do. Are you having a shade man? Look at your phone, <laughs> fucking dick. <laughs> Is he in here? He just comes under the cubicle door <laughs> like a mechanic. <laughs> you doing loud in the bath, fucking luxuriating? <laughs> isn't, it, <laughs> isn't it mental that you, <clears throat> especially like as comics, as performers, people who talk, you, you, as a, if you, right now we went <laughs> people who talk, he can't. <laughs> Is it amazing? Is it amazing? Like people who talk, you. Uh. Oh no! <laughs> I'm jet lagged already. <laughs> what do you say, Skip? People who do talkings, right? Uh, Stephen talking. Do, do the speakies, right? You. If we decided today to become motivational speakers, nobody, nobody believes us. Of course, you could become huge doing this because you know how to like look through a camera and speak. You can write. So you could do it as like, I'm just doing this for a laugh. But people would properly get me yeah. That's what all these people are. Like, there, are there are times to see those motivational speakers and I'm like, are you doing a bit? But I think those people have convinced themselves they're not. Do- they yeah. think that that's them. Because I spoke to people who have met people like that, like motivate local motivational Aye. speakers and that kind of thing. And they're going, there's surely going to be a moment where they go here. 
this. Like, you know, but in between doing it, but they were like, nah. They, I think you just you motivate yourself that much in a way that you just get to this level where you're like, nah, nah, nah. This is me. Aye. A hundred percent of the time. I think the bath might be the only place you f- you lose it all. Nobody can be motivated you in the cry, bath. You know, you just have a. You cry. see stuff floating about. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Do you know your Willie Bob's in the bath? You're like, that's yeah, fucking wrong. I, always try I can't and, believe I've let somebody touch that. I, I always <laughs> try and get the bath water to a level where it covers the Willie. I don't I, like the no, Willie. No, no, I, I like to just leave the, the, just the foreskin. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> like, like a periscope. Like a wee sad boy. <laughs> like, a, like, like a wee submarine. And then I'll turn it around looking for stuff. <laughs> Load of Russian guys in it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 no, I like it being covered in the bath. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it bobbing up. No, I, it's when the if balls start doing it. It's when, like, huh? Do you ever, do you ever like, because my bath is like a wee fucking, I don't know what it is, it's a wee silver thing at the bottom of the bath, so you can sort of see your book? reflection. It's oh. not cool, like. Oh, yeah. And here, you just watch your testicles here. do this weird fucking, like. Here, what is that thing? I have no idea. The wee circle? The wee circle thing? Below the tops? What's it for? <laughs> I don't know. It's not a mirror, like. No, 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 no. No, this one's He's like, talking about a fixed silver bit of reflective, but yeah. it's not a mirror. It's a circle. No, there's no, no, there's not. There might be. No, I think you're on to something. You're right. There isn't. There are. Fuck <laughs> is. <laughs> Me and you did a death shin. <laughs> this is what they're not talking about. What is that wee thing in that's, the bath? That yeah. wee circle. That's where Alexa looks at you. Yes. She, sees up your bum and all. Yeah. <laughs> How, are you a bath guy? Straight me as a bath guy. Not as much as you used to, but I do enjoy a bath. Yeah. What what I've realised in my thirties is the amount of time I spend. The, like I'll be there an hour, in the bath, just in the bath, all wrinkly and all, all wrinkly and all. My hands completely drags me on my phone. Right. <laughs> and then I have a shower after. Like, oh yeah, I can't understand people who shower before they go to bed at night. As in, I've done that. It is fucking great. Yeah, but and then the these people, time I've done these it, people you, shower you first bed, thing like, in the morning too. I they shower too much bath for your skin. Uh, and you keep your oils exactly. I always say that. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, the any gigs out of the ordinary recently or any travelling you were you in England a couple of weeks ago yeah I was over did hot water and I was in Frog and Bucket for a couple of days now what do you get up to in Liverpool and Manchester fuck all right, nothing. I went to the gym went to the gym saw a guy in Manchester gym working out trainers tank top alright forgivable jeans odd move like what, what are you training for yeah and all I could think Street was fighting. all I could think was I've never abducted an adult child but if I was going to do it, I reckon I would wear jeans in the gym. Do you know what I mean? That, no. That's that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, what what kind of a psycho does that? Um, do so. Do you say you're say you're going to be in Liverpool for three days? Uh huh. Will you just leave the hotel to eat? That's it. Will you go for a dander? Will I'll you... go dander. Like yeah. So I've, I'll usually I'll find a pure gym and go right. I'm going to go to that pure gym at some point, and then I'll spend a day going right. Just fucking book the pure gym so you have to go. I like the idea of a pure gym on tour, but I can't do the po- the way to get the doors to get you in. Yeah, do you know what, what always baffles me about pure gym? I think gyms? I'm going to die in those doors. There's always somebody in a pure gym who's fucking jacked, and I go, "How do you get like that in this gym? Because there's yeah. nothing in it." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's always too busy. I'm like, "How the fuck have you got to that yeah. size? Surely it's not coming in here. You must. Be, do you know what I mean?" But it, it, yeah, there's odd people in pure gyms. Yeah, because it is just people go any time of day. But I, the first time I went, it was in Glasgow, and I tried to walk in the door. And then I got stuck yeah. in the pod thing, and I was like, "I'm gonna. This is the end of me." Yeah, I'd very quickly just like fall to the ground and just accept it. <laughs> I wish I was strong enough to get this door <laughs> yeah. open, but I'm not because I haven't been in there yet. <laughs> hot water is so good. Liverpool's man. Do you know what I loved the most about hot water was the staff are so on top of anybody that starts talking or heckling or fucking yeah. Text or they're straight over like shut the fuck up. Yeah. Um, which is very rare to see in comedy clubs these days. So I, I, I had a great time. Were you on tour? No. Um, you were just doing spots? Well, I did. It. I was doing a sort of tour show in Manchester on the Sunday. And then I was doing the Frog and Bucket Friday, Saturday as well. So I just booked hot water because it was going to be over anyway. Uh, did a wee fucking 20. We we were like ships in the night in Uri last week. Yeah. Last weekend. Because I arrived just before I went on stage. You were doing a wee poo. Yep. So I, you weren't in the green room. And then when I went down to the side of stage... I was going on anyway Aye. and then I was leaving after my set that was lovely that gig that gig was fantastic so I good. had a fucking ball at it that's one you go I don't know it's in a football club social club this could go either way sort it of thing. could go either yeah. way because that's where when people are too comfy in the vet as in like 
some people maybe go there every every Saturday night for it's it's like going into their house. Yeah, I always, like, you know what I mean. I've had a thing where like if you if you're doing comedy in a bar that people drinking all the time, it's always a nightmare. Yes, because that and even though they're enjoying themselves and even though it's not that big a deal. When you do a joke and everybody in the room knows somebody that relates to and they all start fucking yes. elbowing the cunt and you're standing there going, listen guys, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself but you really messed up my timing. Yeah. There's another joke coming. Yeah. You just please stop having a good nice time while I do my art. It was, um, it was, it was class. I loved that. It was just me and you, was it? Yeah, yeah. And Darren, Darren. Uh, Yeah, I had a, it was really good. I had a bunch of new stuff as well. It was like, I, I was so hungover. I swear to God, this keeps hitting me in waves. So I have said before, if I have a hangover, it'll only, it'll hit me bad as soon as I wake up. Mm. Usually I'll sort of like it's away. yeah. Usually I'll sort of drag it out for a bit. Right. But today I woke up like ah, like does it not put you like does it do do you do you sometimes think with a bad hangover, I'm kicking this in the head for a while, or yeah, every hangover, yeah, <laughs> every single time that's my effort. I don't know. I can't. I, the fear of hangover stops me drinking. Right. That's why See, I don't. I found myself thinking recently I should probably have a kid just so that I can not drink as much, which isn't a healthy <laughs> thought to have. <laughs> no. Nor is it a good idea. Yeah. When the kid grows up, you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. remember Daddy. when I decided to have you? <laughs> <laughs> Here, you're 18 now. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I know. I, I mean, I think that's a good idea to have a kid. Because I think that's the, that's the, like, because everybody our age, anybody I know has kids. Yeah, and that's the reason why they're like, oh, I can't. It's just not worth a hangover. Yes. Whereas I'm like, yes. Yeah, I've got fucking. Yeah. It's got a big TV and a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. And old fashioned. Right. What's um, what's 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 happening in the world at the minute? No idea. You don't. I have no clue. Philip Schofield's brother got arrested. Donald is Donald Trump getting arrested? They always he's been say arrested? He's getting arrested. He has? But don't they, isn't that, they always say, you know, these high profile people are going to get arrested and then they don't. But what's he, is he, is it the storming of the Capitol thing still? He's getting arrested over, over maybe having sex with a porn star? No, I think it's lying. Maybe lying to Congress about it or something. So, uh, There's like, a lot of them American politicians are dodgy as fuck because that whole Hunter Biden's laptop thing isn't a conspiracy anymore. So Joe Biden's son yeah. had a laptop with like a load of fucking weird shit on it, and there was so, there was talk of like he bought somebody off so it didn't get out. Right. So the crypt as fuck. I just can't wait to see Trump in jail, like. But try it, to try to talk hard on the wing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Point of the magic goes to McAlbury. Point the pool. I'm on next. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine got, he's got a poster of Stormy Daniels on his wall. He's digging a tunnel under it. <laughs> and you know what? But it's Justin <laughs> Erfanik. <laughs> Stay what to know. That's Shawshank Redemption. I, mean. <laughs> I hear you're a man who knows how to get things. <laughs> I need a rock hammer, okay? A small hammer, a little hammer. <laughs> they told me not to drop the soap, I dropped the soap. <laughs> oh, I mean, he's not going to go to jail, surely. That don't, I feel like people Yeah, if like he goes to jail, he's going to be going to like fucking Wolf of Wall Street jail, isn't he? It's not going to yes. be like... Yeah, like... Or they'll person. make a proper example of him just like... But there's always stuff. I feel like there's always been stuff from my limited knowledge about politics in the world. But there, there always seems that threat is hanging over all people like that. Like people go, Hillary Clinton, like she's going to go to jail here. There was always stuff about Obama. Yeah, it feels like that never quite happens. Maybe because they are so high profile or something. But is he trying to be president again? Yeah, there was talking running again, wasn't there? Yeah. If you live there, do you think your attitude to it would be? Uh, it is a wee bit, a wee, a wee bit. Funny. I, I was in New York whenever, when he got inaugurated, and I remember talking to this couple in a bar, and the, the husband was like, I voted for Did you go for before that? No, no, no. I went, I was just, I was there for the, the women's march, uh, trying to pull. <laughs> but, <coughs> there was a guy I was talking to the bar, and he said, he goes, I voted for Trump, and he goes, and I don't like him, I don't like anything about him, but... Whatever it came out with, like, was it Obamacare or something to do with the Democrats were putting this thing through that was taxing the sort of middle classes? So he was like, I manage a bar and I've had to move back in with my parents because they had put tax up to a certain point. So it's like, they're, do you know what I mean? They're, they're basically not taxing the rich. 
right, right. hitting the middle ground and it's fucking everybody over. So he was like, I voted for him just because it was the only other option. Yeah. Because it, as an outsider, it, it there's no, you don't hear anything about America, any, like in terms yeah. of the politics and stuff like that, on, under Biden. And you do sort of go, it it's mental, but you, uh, there's a bit being like, it was fun to read all about all the stuff that yeah. was happening. You know, and, and be grateful that we don't live there. It's Yeah, it's a shame, I think, Biden's born because he, he can't, nobody can do an impression of Biden. So for comedians, you're just like, oh, I can't watch you fall off a seat. <laughs> oh, just pay you. yourself. <laughs> was I here before? Uh, I have no idea if that's good or not. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> I did like it when he fell off that bike. <laughs> <laughs> He f- it took him ages to fall. That's how old he is. <laughs> like he fell for a really long time. <laughs> Did he? F- he fell up the steps of the plane one time, too, didn't he? Up the steps. Yeah. It's it's so demoralising falling up oh steps. Oh my god! Do you know what's do you know what the most do, like? See, just bumping your head on anything. Yeah. Oh <laughs> see that podcast? Like people guess I respect so much before they come I, on. I'm like such a big fan of this guy's work. Anytime they get up and bang their head off that light, I lose everything. Man, I I bumped my head the other day in my, in, in my own flat <laughs> uh, against the thing that I know was there. <laughs> yeah. And Joe, you bump your head, and you, you do that. Yeah. <sighs> Oh. I might cry a wee bit. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like a fucking moron. I hate, like, when you're a kid, you get into, like, accidents, like, all, that all the time. But when you're an adult, there's an added layer of, like, embarrassment to Oh, it. yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be happening to yeah, me. Yeah, because, like, when you're a kid, you go, oh, I didn't realise I was that tall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but you know what I are? Yeah. So when you stop growing at 15, <laughs> like, oh, why? <laughs> why is this happening to me? I got stung I by I put my head it was painful I got stung by a nettle on the hand getting the football out of a hedge right because I'm seven this was like last week and, <laughs> and, and I I forgot that when you get stung by because I was trying to get the ball got it and went there was nettles there but I haven't been stung Aye. and then I remembered you don't feel it straight away you, so I'm top of bumps. the world I'm top of the world for three minutes and then Aye. I was like oh like real get a dock and sleep quick quick <laughs> me and my kids get like <laughs> <laughs> How did he die? He got stung by a nettle on the hand, a single nettle. And <laughs> then jumped off a bridge. <laughs> I I um I fell into a nettle patch. Yeah, it was Bunch a patch. of nettles yeah. whenever I was a kid. It was horrific. I again like, get always retrieving that's how I'll die, retrieving a football. Yeah. Do you not just give it that one? Like sc- scoop it, it over your foot? Different techniques. This was behind a wall, so I couldn't. Gotcha. It was a paywall. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mate who fell. I remember my mate fell into the thing in nettles. It was at our back garden when we first moved in. It was because it was a new build, so like it was just just fields. Okay, as far as all I right, see. all but right. Sort of mean <laughs> fucking <laughs> not that lurking. <laughs> but uh, she fell into the nettles. And we were like, right, get up, get back out of them. And she was like, I can't because I had to put my hands in the nettles to get out. So I'm just gonna lie here until a grown up comes and picks me up. We we're like, all right, Dory. <laughs> What's the worst accident? Don't be grim and say like you saw someone die. What's the worst accident you saw as a kid? Saw somebody nearly die. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I don't know. I remember I, I went over the handlebars of my bike one time. Same, that's why I fucked this wrist. Seriously? Yep. I liked, so, a game where I lived because it was a new build, it was all loose, like, loose chippings. Do whatever, like, the fucking, like, uh, what is it? Like, Does he not like, present, like, a, a show about monster trucks? <laughs> that's Keith Jagman. <laughs> God rest him. Uh, what? I keep saying was dead. I thought that. I thought it was uh, Les Dennis. Is Les Dennis? Th- <laughs> no, I don't think. No, he it's is. Keith Chagwin. Well, I know one of them's dead, but I thought it was Les Dennis. Chagman. Is, is Les, <laughs> Les Dennis dead? Our service is. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, but yeah, so the, it, was all, it, was like, it was like a gravelly road. <laughs> Which sounds like a fucking song. The Combs. Song. <laughs> <laughs> the loose chippings. And I fucking I pulled the wrong brake. I was racing my mates, pulled the wrong brake, went straight over the handlebars, yep. and just slid down the street. I remember like having fucking bits of gravel, like my ma having to pick them out of my cheek. Yeah. I bust my knee open, bust me out. It was it was it was rough. Has anyone seen like a re- like anyone seen anyone get hit by a car or anything? But like again, oh, not feel. I was in Spain one time and saw the bus I was on knocked a guy over. Bad. Knocked him out. But I remember, like the driver just stood at the door of the bus, like, and then the he was really nervous. <laughs> and uh, the bloke that was like, so the bloke fell in the like the dirt, and he stood up. And I remember thinking it looked like a fucking eighties 
special effects thing because he was like moving real slow. I was just blood and fucking. Ah, oh, yeah. And then the driver was like, he's up. I just got back on the bus and drove away. <laughs> and we were there for two weeks. And on the last day of the holiday, the blood stain was still on the front of the bus. Oh. He, like he smashed, he cracked the window and stuff. But the driver yeah. was like, fuck, he's up and away. I don't ever remember seeing anything. I do remember seeing a get seeing a guy get a bit shot on the old knees. Um, when we were playing, remember Hunt, which was just when you got too old to say hide and seek, or Hunt. What well, we had this debate recently with Forty Nine Bunkers. We we up, upped it to Forty Nine Bunkers. Forty Nine Bunkers. Yeah. Is he going to Forty Nine? Oh right, okay. Don't know where the bunkers bit comes from, but so we were on top of a coal shed, hiding. And Good place to hide. About two, three years. Not ago. in it, like uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the roof of it, the roof was at a certain level. Uh, that if you were on the ground looking for it, you couldn't have seen right. anyone on the roof. And um, hiding. And there's a behind that. There's a back of there's like behind flats, mm -hmm. big block of flats behind it uh, and in this place West Green Hollywood it's all different now there was like a big green in the middle where you used to play football and then there's blocks of flats kind of like around it um, behind these flats uh, we're hiding and then there was gun, either a gunshot or gunshots mm -hmm. and it was one of those ones where like you di it didn't make everyone like jump weirdly it was just kind of like well, you didn't. You don't assume that's what it is I know it sounds like a weird thing but like there was a certain point in this country when you hear a gunshot you would go whoop yeah, hell, <laughs> fuck sick. <laughs> Here we go to me. <laughs> so you just go back to fucking. So we uh, we couldn't work out what it was. Didn't couldn't see really anything. And then there was a guy, just like sitting having a bat. After a while, we saw like a guy, just like sitting with his back against the wall. I'm, I maybe was ten, eleven, and then I assume like the guys that had done it were like his mates. You know, like a punishment. Shooting. Right, and he was like. He wasn't like teenagers or anything, and they and they were all like bold boys, known uh -huh. bold boys, and they've come round and they're like, "Oh mate, we'll get an ambulance and all." Like they right. were round them, they brought help. So he must have done something. They were like, "You know what has to happen," right. and and then we're on top of a coal shed. At this point, put coal all over us to be like, "Who want to be next?" Uh, but that was really weird because he yeah. wasn't like the weird thing is he there was no like screaming or anything. Oh, I don't think he just knew it was going to happen. Right. I did say I saw one time. I remember like my mom was driving. We were behind this army Land Rover, and a crowd of fellas came running out of the street with a petrol bomb, fucked it at the Land Rover and missed. And the soldier came out of the wee hatch in the roof, yeah, with a plastic bullet gun. And you spoke to them, you spoke to them, bounced them off the ground. There's all that shit. He just full blown shot a guy in the arm with it. And I remember that the guy's arm just went boom, like from here, oh. just fucking broke. And my mom was like, oh fuck. <laughs> like, Do you want McDonald's? I'm like, are we not, are we not, are we not going to talk about this? <laughs> like, I've just seen an actual fucking gun battle. We're not going to. The plastic uh, bullets thing was. The plastic bullets kill people. Like oh, yeah. Know. Any gigs coming up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a gig in the plastic boat, which is a bar in Crossing Glen. Um, Where's it? Have you ever. Do you remember ever back in the day, like turning a gig down? Just off the sounds of it? I would once, one time walked in that was supposed to be like a corporate in Carrick Fergus. Right. And I walked in, met the guy who was organising it, and he goes, right, so what's going to happen is you do 45 minutes, then we'll have a raffle, you come back on, do bit another 45 minutes. And I went, no sweat, just going to go for a smoke, got in my car, went home. <laughs> Did you think it was paramilitary type thing? No, no, no. I was you just, just like, it was the length everybody was steaming. And right. I was like... The guy who was booking the gig at the time was paying me like 150 quid for corporates. And right. I I knew full well that he was charging them like... 800 or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Um, But I was like, I needed the money. I think when I figured out it wasn't cash, I was like, well, I'm fucked either way because I have very little petrol in that car. Right. So right. I was going home. Yeah. And didn't answer the phone. Um, I can't remember leaving before like a set like that, but definitely showing up at places and finding a way to like get out of it or yeah. or or drastically cutting down the set time yeah but what if we all do six minutes because we did a an outdoor gig me dave and butler and i was supposed to do like 40 they were to do 15 each or something and i get the guy it was a council thing and the guy run the jubilee one yeah yeah i did one of those the guy running it i've talked about it on here before but also we didn't know what it was for 
were told it was a summer a summer party Aye. for the council and then I got tagged an image on Facebook and it was me beside a giant crown and I went here absolutely don't have that Aye. Um, uh, but the guy the guy running it came up in the earpiece because they were showing a feed from London uh, to the crowd and then he came up to, not not like you know, chicken roast right but he, come, he comes to me and goes uh, I'm really sorry about this and I, I was like he's going to want more time he goes, could you do 14 minutes between the three of you? And I went, bastards. I went, all right. <laughs> I was like, fine. I had to do 40 <laughs> minutes, and the only reason I was doing it was because Paddy Raff pulled out. Right. So you had a crowd full of people being like, Paddy Raff's going to be here. And then I walk out, and they're like, don't swear. And I'm like, fuck you. You walk out, <laughs> you walk out in a 38 pound pleather jacket. Yeah, like, absolutely. We're here to party. <laughs> God save her. Fuck her right. Up her half. What? I don't know. <laughs> God rest her. That's great there. <laughs> Have you after Australia? What's it, are you going to do any travels the rest of the year? So we'll go to Amsterdam the week after I get back for a couple of days. Just uh, work or pleasure? Going for the Anne Frank huh? the museum. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. And are you actually going to that museum right now? Nah, I'm going to smoke weed and look at Diddy's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go to strippers. I'm just going to take my top off, and <laughs> sit in the bath that we silver thing. <laughs> In her house, <laughs> so disrespectful. It, <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> is that so shadow bar? <laughs> See that cold shit that you hide in that? No, she's on top of us. I who the heck was I talking to the other day about this? The last time I was in Amsterdam, I saw two prostitutes on like on their way home from work dandering past the Anne Frank Museum and I just had this weird w- image of like I bet you she didn't know yeah. hiding her, just Anne Frank she remember hiding with her family and all being like I hope we get away with this and years later just be two hers <laughs> <laughs> just clocking off yeah also Amsterdam <laughs> probably wasn't like that then was it yeah probably not to be honest you it know? might have been I don't know has it always been dirty a bit fucking <laughs> Bit lax, bit loose, bit loose. Uh, what will you do when you go there? You go to the ca- go to the coffee shops. You're not really. W- I'm not a big weed. W- weed guy, to be honest with you. The, like, because the last time I went, I went with Gaddis and McCann a couple of years ago. I went to like the big food hall in place. Just loads of food. It's unbelievable. Right. So I could happily go there and just sit there for two days and drink beer outside it. Because Key doesn't Keysy go somewhere out just outside Amsterdam? He, he says yeah. that's more authentic. It's more authentic. It's cheaper. Right. So he's like, if you're even for weed, I didn't realize. I thought it was just Amsterdam. I didn't realize like the whole of Holland was fucking legalized. Oh, I didn't know that either. So he says that if you go outside Amsterdam, you can still buy weed, but they're not charging tourist prices. So right. It's all ramped up because no people are going to be there. So it's probably like, and I've been to Amsterdam a couple of times and go to like the main tourist bits. It's probably like going to Temple Bar in Dublin for a yeah, pint, yeah. and people are going the real places you should go for pints are here and here. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to do some of the Irish festivals this year, like Kilkenny. I haven't been to Kilkenny in years. Neither have I. I've never, in fact, ever. Have you not? No, it's great. Um, I've never been asked to do the festivals. I don't know. I don't know what, what like what happens or who doesn't like me. But. I think I got in and then the guy did two years and then moved on to somewhere else. And when two he years, went, what for? <laughs> for uh, uh, shooting someone in the back of a bank of <laughs> But um, but I, I sort of like got in and then he changed jobs right. and the new guy brought people he knew in or comedians he'd work with, but. I don't know. But then there's the uh, an assumption probably people look at the scene here and go, oh, they probably they probably don't want a gig outside of where they're gigging, whereas they don't realise it. Yeah, you do. Like, yeah, you that's a weird. I don't really know. Like I'm doing Edinburgh this year. I'm regretting it already. I haven't even went. So you've got you, Kieran, Willie. Anybody else? Robbie, you think's trying to get a show? Right. Uh, will you um? Will you have a messy Edinburgh? Because I think this is the first time William's done it. Aye. Kieran hasn't done the full run. So will you like? Will you sherpa them through the cobble streets? So <sighs> me and Willie were talking about getting like getting the place together. Right. So we're doing a compilation show at ele- ten o'clock or eleven o'clock every night. So every like, night. Yeah. So I'm like, you'll not be in bed after midnight. Well, that's see, <laughs> that's that's well, yeah. But I'm hoping that'll keep me sober. In my brain, I go, that means I like can't. A kid. I can't drink until fucking that show's finished. Right. So then I'll finish that show and go home. And then I'm like, no, but everyone stays up until five. So mm. I guarantee what's going to happen now is I'm going to fucking leave the house at five in the evening, fly for two hours, do my show, hang about, do that show, drink to five, go to bed, 
and it'll be that on a pint for a month. At five, and I'm, I'm just too pitch- old for it. I'm just picturing you with a big toast in a pint. You know, but being happy, like, um, yeah, I think Kieran will be. I think it'll be three stages. I think you'll be hitting the pints. Mm-hmm. I think you'll have Willie in the middle who could kind of go. I think Willie's going to be the wee kid in the divorce because Kieran's mum, your daddy, right? Aye. Daddy's having the pints in his Hollister jacket <laughs> till all hours, right? <laughs> with his Ferrari. Oh, this fuck with his Ferrari glasses <clears throat> on. Kieran is mummy. Mummy's in bed early. Mummy's having a wee bath, keeping herself right. God, I imagine Kieran wore like a wee face mask on. Cucumbers after and stuff. Foot spa. He looks like I'd have a wee knotted hanky in his head yeah, yeah. if it gets too warm. And a foot spa. Yeah, just uh, uh, like rollers, <laughs> but even though he doesn't have her anymore. Yeah. And every night after his shows, he was, ah, this is a life. Like toe separators, no? Yeah. <laughs> so I think Willie will be stuck between those camps. He'd be mm. going, I want to do this, but then I want. I feel like I should do that, you know? Yeah. And you'll both be competing for him. Kieran will be like, no, Willie, scrub my back with a loofer. And you'll be going, no, Willie, come and have a, you know, come and have a pint of... Scrub the inside of my nose, that's cocaine I've just bought. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> <laughs> Kieran will be putting talc on, and you'll be putting coke I on. Go, what is that? <laughs> it's talc, I don't matter. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you, you're the, you're the Edinburgh Sherpa. You're the guy who takes people around, shows them what's what, where to go, See, what to not, do. Because I tend to... F- I usually just end up in a routine. That's one of the things I do like with doing Edinburgh is you go, it's the same thing every day pretty much. Yeah. So I've probably only been to two places in the whole city. <laughs> Pure Gym. <laughs> sort of God. Pure Gym and the, yeah, the, the venue globe, of your show. The, the bar beside the hive. <laughs> I remember uh, Dave, when we were doing the Fringe and we were in the Globe and Dave did the worm. And he, Dave is brilliant at doing the worm dance. No. Like, it's his, I don't know if he can still do it, but he could then. And the Globe is like, Quite student, they we bit like it's rough. Like and backpackers. Ready. It's not yeah, rough. Yeah. It's a backpackers type place. Yeah. But we loved it. We were always there because you had your. Sh- we would always end up there just before your show. Aye. You and Rory Ward had that late night show. Uh, I think it was late night, was it? Yeah, it was like eleven o'clock or something. Like late night. Late AF. I watched the start of it, but I'm staying for the whole thing. <laughs> God forgive me. Um, but we. But I remember. Because we mobile on with stars going. <laughs> ding, ding, I remember ding. Dave doing the worm. There and uh, it was sticky floors, and I remember the noise of him doing every like every pivot. Yeah, and it was stinking, and he had this plain white t-shirt, and then it was a wee bit dirty. And I remember thinking, "That's gross." I, I remember. I don't know if I can tell this. I can. I can tell the story without using names. We that same year, so me and Rory were get kicked out of the flat we were supposed to stay in, mm-hmm. and Rory goes. Rory goes to me, mate. Here's what we're gonna do. He was remember them two girls we were talking to yesterday. And I went, yeah. He goes, we're gonna ride them. <laughs> I was like, what? Right. So I don't know, Rory was sort of in already with this girl. He sort of like she was like, Oh, I fancy you too, sort of thing. So like Dawson's Creek. Yeah. So I was I, this is really impolite. I was doing what was known in the in at the time was taking the grenade because the friend wasn't that good looking. But I was like, I need somewhere to fucking sleep, right? I remember at one point Rory's like flirting with this girl and the grenade looked at her her mate and mouthed the words fuck you and I was like, Oh, I'm the grenade. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but we were in the globe and uh, a mutual friend of ours had gone out for a smoke with the girl I was supposed to f- trying to fucking pull just to get somewhere to sleep and I was like where, where, where'd, the, where'd the girls go and uh, the mutual friend of ours who's female came in to the bar stuck her fingers under my nose and went sorry Mitch is one of mine <laughs> and I was like holy shit <laughs> did I know that person yeah yep well t- I'll tell you who it was afterwards but yeah Fully was like, <laughs> she's one of mine. Yep. Oh no no yeah 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 get that yeah. get that. <laughs> Jesus, did you get somewhere to stay? Yeah, yeah. Oh that's right that was a nightmare. That too. was the night that yeah fuck it. Uh, that was worse. That, it, yeah so that you was really robbed. Worse. So so, it was like, so later that a man night, stole money from Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> no what? Did? Didn't a man steal money from you? Do it again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a bit rough. But the night that we actually got to sleep, so me and Rory go into this house, and I'm like, mate, do me, because those two girls were sleeping in the same room, because it was Edmunds, there was like 15 people in the room. I was like, well, please, please don't have sex. Who are the other 13? Oh, man, this is, it gets so weird. Like, <laughs> I was like, please don't have sex this girl, and I'm in the same room. I'm just not, I'm just not okay with it. Right. And he was like, of course, I'm not going to have sex. Are you fucking stupid? 
So he's lying like on a mattress on the floor, and I'm lying in the bed beside me and the grenades. So it was like a ticking time bomb between the two of us. <laughs> and she's like, "Don't touch me!" He's like, "I'm fucking not going anywhere near you." The two of us are rotten. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a fucking cry when me and you at each other. Imagine the children, you freak. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm lying in bed and I can hear like, ee, 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 ee. and I'm like a fucking bastard. I told him not to write anybody. Like I told him not to do it. <laughs> so it goes on for a while. It goes on for the like so long. At one point, I'm like, Rory Ward's a fantastic lover. He hasn't missed a stroke. Right. And that's been a good forty-five minutes. Right. So then I need to pee, and I'm like, Rory, and it just stops. And he's like, Wah. And I'm like, I need to pee, and he goes. Hurry up. Right. <laughs> so, because he was beside the bathroom. Right. So I like walk over. He's lying sleeping. This girl's lying on his shoulder, but she was so asleep. It looked like she was pretending to be asleep. Yes. And I was, I, I wanted to be like, fuck it, you got your whole fair play to you. I don't really, no, trying to be like, I don't really mind. So I went like that. Our show was called Double Impact. And I went, Double Impact, baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> went for a pee. Back in bed, went to sleep. I was fine. And the next morning, Rube like just wouldn't talk to me. And I'm like, man, I'm sorry, like, I didn't fuck, and he goes, I can't believe you fucked that girl when I was in that room. And I'm like, well, I didn't have sex with anybody. It was, yeah, <laughs> Like, <laughs> no way. And I, I was like, you were having sex. So, turned out there was a third couple in a bed. We, we were that drunk, we didn't even fucking see them. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, it was, but it was like the end of Socks. You put the whole movie together, right? We're in Rory's head. I've, I've bashed this girl. <laughs> like, read the life on her. For 45 straight minutes And then needed my after sex victory pee And then on the double way to the bathroom went double impact baby <laughs> Like you're up slugger <laughs> She's all yours mate <laughs> She's a lesbian no careful <laughs> That'll be Willie. <laughs> you Willie and Kieran. <laughs> Triple impact, baby. <laughs> you William, Kieran, and Chloe. <laughs> uh, uh. Somehow, William and Kieran have separate accommodation. Somehow, William will end up sleeping in a room with Kieran and Chloe. Somehow, K- Kieran will Kieran will talk William out of staying in his accommodation. It's too. It, there's damp here, William. You need to stay with us. It's a really bad Kieran person. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm Kieran Bartlett. That's his real voice, if you ever mate. <laughs> mate. Fuck up, cunt. The traffic on the West Link, mate. That's perfect, Kieran. <laughs> I'm off to Doogie's Goodies. Chocolate, chocolate, cream, chocolate. Nam mm. yum. <laughs> Love that guy. He's a great guy. We did a wee thing yesterday. We... T- try the wee thing what'd you try <laughs> full sex <laughs> oh cool no it's just a just a, a, a something like this but a wee bit a wee bit different a podcast yeah just say that yeah, yeah. just say a podcast <laughs> totally different podcast yeah <laughs> why is everybody else doubling up on new podcast partners I'm stuck with fucking Keezy so we hmm. me and Butler but you like to go the Bart and the Butt the Bart and the Butt yeah yeah be good Put a Bart and your Butt podcast yeah Um, what <sighs> you're doing the waterfront Yes. On what date? Thirteenth of October, I think. I never know. Dates. I never know. We don't. It's not our job. I mean, it's even he gets as big as we are. It's just it all becomes numbers, Shane. I need to be. Luckily, I have a gap between now and proper shows because I, I have, uh, I have this thing on my. Li- I have. Have you ever heard of horse lips? Like there's the a medical term for it. Oh. No, but like actual horse lips. <laughs> <laughs> you just do that all the time. Are you just a wee bit fed up? It's like a. It's like a growth. It sounds gross, but it's like your lips keep your lips like almost like start growing again. My lips have been really sore, right? And they they like feel bigger. Like one day, I, Is, I are you swole. planting a seed here to be like, I'm going to Turkey. I'm getting it all done. I'm getting everything done. The whole thing. No, I've got to like. I had to do a Zoom with a a the doctor, horse. a doctor, <laughs> a <from> vet. <laughs> I'm getting put down. <laughs> I had to do a Zoom with my GP and a doctor from Germany who specialised in this thing and I have to get like, it, this sounds mental, I have to get air taken out of my lips. Fucking this hell. This is a real thing. Horse lips. How do you Otherwise, get air in your keep, lips? Like, no, air. air. I, how did you get it in? Huh? How did it get in there in the first place? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Can I say? Blew up a balloon backwards? Can I say this is uh, a... <laughs> no, but like, yeah, apparently it's a thing. 
Air, air, like horse lips the, this has backfired me and Mike before, before you both you were out of the room before this and I said give me a condition I can start talking about and pretend I have right. and for some reason he said horse lips and I've not thought about it enough okay yeah. uh, do you know what I'm raging you don't have a condition like that no would you like it if I was just <laughs> yes yeah, yeah baby hello Mickey <laughs> <laughs> I can't get no I show up in Australia. <laughs> Where's the gig? <laughs> I'm trying to bring a different accent. <laughs> There's no need to. <laughs> Are we going to the casino, McKay? <laughs> Nord VPN. <laughs> Hello, my Aboriginal sippers. <laughs> Don't say that. You can't? No, nothing right there. Sipper? <laughs> <laughs> the type of, that's an oh, album, indigenous? Is it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Can he? Can he? Elaborate? I'm gonna figure it out before I go. Oh, that's a good point. Gonna figure it out before I go. Um, yeah, I would love to come out with loads of plastic surgery when you see me in Australia, and then when we get home, I don't have it. Yeah, for some reason. <laughs> She's got it on the flight. Yeah. Um, I want you to like. I want you to greet me when I arrive in Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Don't you have done anything? Gra- like that's up to you. But like, I, I want. I want to a arrive. Sign. No, I don't want to sign. I don't want you picking up from the airport or anything unless you want to. But I want, I want to arrive in the city and go and and I say, where are you? And you go, meet me at this place. Right. First thing I'm going to do is get a fucking Australian sim. That'd be my advice. What network are you with in your phone? O2, mate. I yeah, get an Australian sim. You Why? Get, you can get a 30-day one. Why? Because they'll charge you fucking 10 pound a day to use it out there. Huh? Oh, I mean. And you'll need, you'll need it for... No 5G, winter. bro? There's 5G, like, Why? Why? But, like, fuck on... They'll just charge you a fortune for... Will you get me a sim and then I... Uh, you can get them just in the shop, like... I know, but could you get me one so when I arrive, you go, there's your sim, mate. All right, right they'll do that. I'll give you a, yeah, your student starter pack. And then will you have... There's your you sim, get, sunscreen. Will you get me a wee pin? Take out the sim? There's a wee pin comes with it. You're joking Swear me. Swear to God, but I've thought of everything. It, uh, so I can just pop it out? Just I don't pop it to, out. Don't have to turn take, a wee paper clip your own sim card, just put it in your wallet. Nice and safe. Leave it there and click it home. Right. Swap back out. Keep but then, pin. will it know my numbers and all? Yeah. Huh? It's, yeah, it's, so they're unlocked, so you just everything's the same. And I'll have all my songs, you know? I ring it. <laughs> my ring, well, my ringtones come across. Photos, no? Right. So my blue, my, uh, the, I have... Uh, Your headphones will recognise the phone, no? Like, I have uh-huh. my MP3 of the roots, my ringtones. I can... I thought your ringtone was... That's bits and pieces, isn't it? No, bits and pieces... What what one goes? What's bits and pieces? Okay, what's what's this? Right, what's this? Is that Nation. Right, two more. What's this? I know it, I just want to see how long you'll do it. <laughs> oh, I'll keep going, cut the camera. I actually don't know it. I can't, it's on the tip of my Disco tongue. Land. Disco Land. Okay, right. one more. One more. Um, I don't want it to be two of an obvious one. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, no, I don't know that. <laughs> I realised I didn't know the one I was doing. That's, that's the weirdest thought anybody. Do you want me to try and do it? Oh, I don't know that song. No, I know. I know. Oh, how do you know you don't know? <laughs> I know the name. I know the name of the artist and the song, but I don't know how it goes. I think it's like this. Do 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 do. I don't hold on, hold on. I can hear it in my head. You see. I have a gift. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear songs nobody else can hear. <laughs> no, I can see the name of it. Doo, 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 doo. It's Dario G, Sunshine. Oh, that's going to annoy me now because... Fosty, do it. Yeah. Hey, ma, ma, ma. Is that it? Hey, ma, ma, ma. It's just like walking in an old people's home. <laughs> hey, ma, ma. Four days in Australia, me in your room. Uh, how does it go? I know the name of it. 
Equator? No. Ah, Mick, I can't wait to go down under with you. Uh, and then go to Australia. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good times. Okay. Uh, we'll do a podcast there. We'll get together. Yes, we'll be on the beach. On the beach. Yeah. Okay. I need to get a videographer out there. You know anyone? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll I'll sort it out before. You By the time you get to the airport, I'll be all. There's your SIM card. There's your videographer. And there's your wee pin. There's your wee pin. Okay. Uh, all right. All this, all this stuff you need. We come for lunch, boss. I can't. I've. Uh, all right, <laughs> guys. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for listening. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Right, right one more. Um, Blind date. This is morning. Is it a song or TV show? Kilroy. Remember that? I get the chorus. Uh, oh, blue, 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 blue,